I've never seen a truly good cow before. Normally with cows like this that weigh six, 700 kilos, they're in charge. They're the boss here. But here, the odds are a little bit more in our favour. dear little bobby calf we rescued a couple of years ago. She was born with three legs. She's coping really well with her disability. I've never seen a truly good cow before. At Edgar's mission, Chris's next patient is Gretel. Having three legs actually saved her life. She touched the farmer's heart who was so struck by this little calf and her ability to get around on three legs and cope that they wanted to find a good outcome for her. Hey, going? Hi, Chris. How nice to you? meet you. Hey, how you I'm going? Kyle. Hey, Kyle. I can see what she likes. Yeah. <laughs> but this is the problem, isn't it? That's right, yeah, the, the hoofs are starting to compensate there and, and growing awkwardly. The problem with her situation is that it's pushing those toes outwards and those toes are actually becoming malformed. They now need trimming, otherwise they'll keep on growing to the point where she just won't be able to walk. Normally with cows like this that weigh six, 700 kilos, they're in charge. They're the boss here. But here, the odds are a little bit more in our favour. Yeah. Provided we can keep some weight on her with Kyle, I think we're a good chance of actually just trimming that foot without any drugs, without any yards, oh, that's good. without any pain. That sounds like a plan. Normally cows only give you one chance. If you blow that, you've totally lost your cover and they'll just run away. We've got to make the most of this chance. If I can just get my fingers into her nose, it's really good control for them. They shouldn't really move their head after that. I'm going to be a bit nervous while Chris is actually doing this procedure on Gretel because it is uh, very uh, tricky. I'm just going to get my fingers into her nose. Hey. <laughs> right. Yep. Didn't really get the fingers in the nose. more of a wrestler than I thought. Yeah. She's strong. She is. Yeah. She's had to be, you know, and she's tough. She, she doesn't like to feel like things aren't going away because she knows that she's a little bit vulnerable. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Let's go. Can I just get a hand in here? Go on. Put a head, push her head down. Yep. It's all hands on deck, call in whoever we can and make sure we get this hoof trimmed right now. Good girl. Good girl. I still think they're going to be able to get underneath this toe here. So I'm going to have to use the angle grinder. Yep. Normally angle grinders are used to cut steel. Today, they're being used for something entirely different. Yeah. Whoa, good girl, good girl. Good girl, well done. Good girl. Well hey. done. Gretzky. I think we're done, girl. Good girl. girl. Oh. We're well done. Good girl. Yeah, I'm happy. Good girl. Oh. We're well done. Good girl, well done. What did they do to you, hey? <laughs> what did they do to you? What did that naughty Dr. Chris do, Gretel? Oh. After everything Gretel and I have been through in the last few minutes, the only way I'm going to feel okay is if we kiss and make up. Mm. 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 It's better for you than it is for me, trust me. Oh. I probably had one coming, didn't I? Hmm? It's actually better than what I thought, the outcome. We've um, trimmed both of those front uh, hoofs and it's come up really well. You got other plans, I can see. You're a girl in a hurry. Don't mind me, all right? He's obviously waiting for you. Before I even have a chance to say goodbye, Gretel's gone. Why is she gone? She wants to show off the new shoes to a boyfriend, Hansel. All right, well, I'm done, I well, think. Well, not quite, not quite. We've it's just... never done with you, is it? <laughs> We've just got one more special one just before you race off. All right, one more. And this is a little one. Just one more, a little one? A little one. A real little one? A really little one. Look at them. 
It's like a baby animal calendar just come to life. Look at it. There are all sorts of lambs, piglets, goats, of all shapes, all sizes, and all colours. Hello. Hey guys. Hi, how are you going? I don't think anyone can come to Edgar's mission and leave without having given one of our little special babies a bottle feed. So it turns out my final patient for today is a little goat called Boots. Boots likes to use his boots to get on top of my vet case. And what happened to Boots? Um, Boots actually came all the way down from the Madura Pound. He hitchhiked his way. Oh, there you go, Boots. He's a pound goat. He's a pound goat. How did he end up in the pound? Uh, well, apparently he was on the side of the road, yeah. pound up there on the highway, and um, he was taken to the local pound. <laughs> you're cheeky. Yeah, you're cheeky, aren't you? Um, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> After playing by the rules initially, all hell breaks loose. Bottles are not for pigs right now. Especially, oh, don't bite, you cannot do that. You're playing dirty now, you are playing dirty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the piglets, the kids, the lambs realise that in an orphanage, there are no rules. It is every man for himself. <laughs> Officially the hardest job of the day. Oh, yes. You got me, didn't you? That was a good one. In all honesty, there's no better way to finish the day than in a paddock full of these little orphans. It's what Edgar's mission represents. <laughs> oh, not you. What are you going to bite next? Don't, don't bite down there. No. Oh. I think I'm done. Yeah. I'm out of here. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content. And if you love Bondi Vet, then check out our Bondi Pet Marketplace at bondipet.com for a great range of Aussie pet products and services. We can't wait to see you there.